Who are you? The bar. Remember? <sighs> Happy hour. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, God. <laughs> um, listen, don't, don't take this the wrong way, but I think it'd be best if you could just... Yeah. Leave. You got it. <laughs> you guys plan on belly dancing tonight? Never know. We may do some dancing. <laughs> I gotta go. I'll see you there. I can't believe that she still puts up with you and your eye. What's wrong with my eye? Wanders away from her a lot. My, my, you're cranky. Jonathan not giving you any? When you like to know? No, I have a makeup test in 15 minutes, and I intend on using these last few minutes to cram. Leave me alone. Fine. What are you getting stats anyway? A. What? You didn't crack a book all semester. Oh, I'm so unfair. <laughs> We're twins, not clones. You play the piano better than me. Great. Next time we have a piano test, I'll take it for you. That's it. I'll take your test for you. Score you an A. No sweat. Hey. Hey. What is the opposite of me? Smart. I mean it, Vanessa. I need your help. I have this drama exercise where I'm supposed to be the exact opposite of me for a day. What's the point? Get in touch with some other part of ourselves or something touchy-feely like that. Who am I? I'm a drama guy, so not drama guy, not drama. Not a guy. I was kidding. Oh. Forget it, Jamie. You would never survive as a girl. Oh, just for a day. How hard can it be? <sighs> what I give to see you in a dress. I'm all yours. I guess I can work with this. Dominique, if you bomb this test again, you will fail this class and Dad will never buy you a car. What do you care? With my driving record, you're getting one is my only shot at having wheels on campus. Look, we've never traded places before, and I don't think we should start now. We're talking two hours. Dominique, I want a car. Room 420, boiler building. Yeah. Oh. By the way, I have a date with Joy in an hour. So? So? You're going in my place. Uh, you don't have a phone in here? And I always have a phone next to my bed. Well, that's good. Next time we get handcuffed together, let's do it at your place. Are you always just sarcastic? Only when I'm being held hostage in my own bedroom. Well, it's not helping. We should be working together as, as a team, as a unit. Well, it's your unit that got us into this mess. Only because you wanted it so bad. <laughs> Don't flatter yourself. That was the tequila. I was just an innocent bystander. Now, was that before or after you tried to hunt me on the bar stool? I did not. Oh, God, I should never drink tequila. <laughs> well, th and then I'll just go as me and tell Joy that you can't make it. No, you can't do that. Why not? Well, because it's some stupid thing that I promised I'd do with her. So if I just cancel, she'll think I'm blowing her off. And we're on thin ice already. Oh, come on, Mona. Fine. Then I'll just tell her I'm taking your test for you. No, no one can know. Then put my shirt back on, because you're Mona tonight. 
where am I going? You just have to sit in some booth in the study lounge and hand out pamphlets for P-Flag. P-Flag? What's P-Flag? Parents and friends of lesbians and gays. Come on! Aren't you at least supposed to buy me dinner first? God, if I only had a chest like that. They're so even and soft and round. And they mop up spilled milk. Sure. Okay. Gotta show off that nice little waist. <clears throat> you think Sabrina would like that? I have no idea what Sabrina likes. <laughs> I do. She likes those macho guys. Big arms, big necks, big feet. Not drama geeks with chicken legs. You have great legs. If Sabrina doesn't like them, find someone who does. Yeah, just one night with her. Trust me, Sabrina's not what she seems. But I wouldn't give to find out. I'm just giving the basic info. Hi. Um, I was just wondering, how do you know if you're really gay? Uh, hold on a sec. My girlfriend will answer any question you want <laughs> in the most graphic detail, whether you want it or not. Mona. Mona, can you take this one? if you're really gay. Well, let's see. Um, well, one time, I told my sister Dominique about how I knew I was gay. And I think I said something. Oh, that's a perfect and place to start with Dominique. Well, Dominique is Mona's twin, but like, so different, very uptight. She, she's straight. That doesn't mean she's uptight. Please, like you don't say that about Dominique all the time. She like, watches herself through the eyes of others. It doesn't have to be written in stone, but you should never censor any impulse you have just because you think someone else will judge it. Thanks. What's wrong? I was just thinking about what a bummer it is that the whole world thinks my sister's an uptight freak. <laughs> the last thing I remember is getting into a cab. Yeah, me too. Must have been the same cab. Must have invited you up. And the handcuffs? Your idea? Not? Not mine. I don't own kitty cuffs. They were a gag gift at an office Christmas party. You must have been snooping around. If I found the cuffs, don't you think I would have snooped around for the key? How would I know? I don't even know you. And that's why we're naked in your bed. Don't! It's a little late to be modest. Yeah, well, you just keep your head above the covers. My roommate should be home soon. How soon? Not soon enough. You ever picked a lock? Okay, I'm done. Check it out. My God. My girl. This is freaky. <laughs> you think I need to lose a few pounds? Vanessa, you here? Sabrina! Go. For a drink, play night supper, whatever your little heart desires. Uh, actually, I'm not really free. <laughs> I thought we had a date after this. You promised me. Oh, um. oh, my God, Mona, could you maybe fake an interest in me? No, no, it's just I can't really see. Um, my contacts Save are. Save it. You know what? Why don't we just break up? I know that's what you really want. On the count of three. You slide off your side and I'll slide off mine. Ready? I think so. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> Were you always the one that wanted to wear the panties in the family? Oh, you want them back? <laughs> no, God, no. Get over yourself, we've already had sex. Yeah, well, it doesn't count if I don't remember 
Oh, that hurts. You have to twist around so much? <sighs> Sabrina, this is my friend Jamie. Jamie, this is Sabrina. Hey. Hey, you know what? We've got the cutest bikinis on sale at the mall. You know, you look stellar in one of these. Okay, I'm sorry if I'm staring. I just have a thing about other girls' breasts. I don't know, I guess I'm obsessed because I hate mine. They're just not perky enough. Sabrina. <sighs> so, what are you guys doing? Oh, Jamie has this assignment. I am supposed to talk to as many beautiful girls as possible. Oh, well, I'm available. Well, I was hoping you'd say that. Hey. Did you see the two girls who were sitting at the booth a while ago? The lesbians? They left together. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> no idea. Jonathan! <laughs> hey, how'd it go? Oh, uh, right. Fine. <laughs> Where are your glasses? Oh. Right here. Ah, so what are you doing here? We have a date, remember? Oh, um, right. Well, I'm sorry, but I have to cancel. But, but I, I thought we said we were gonna talk about everything. Everything? Like what? Well, um, about the you know, the sex problem. Right. <laughs> I've been dying to talk to you about that. <laughs> okay. Oh, I have a date with Leo later. Oh. That's my parents' line. I gotta get that. Oh, you wanna see how my new top looks? Oh, absolutely. Sure. I'm totally modest. <laughs> Jamie! So, you think you'll like it? be your roommate. It's Miles. Kim. Kim. I gotta go. No, you don't. Yeah, I gotta pee. Yeah. <laughs> I can't go like this. You're pretty close, just aim. I have a shy bladder. <laughs> just try, I know you can do it. I'm so here for you. Yeah, that's the problem. Okay, I'm not here for you, I'm invisible. God, now it's too quiet. Okay, how about if I read to you? Bedtime stars. Yeah. Well, when I was a little girl, um, I was convinced that there was this monster living under my bed at night. Nobody could talk me out of it, and I could never fall asleep. Finally, my mother started coming in and reading a bedtime story to the monster every night. She said, if the monster would fall asleep, then I'd be safe. It worked. I fell asleep. It makes me feel safer in the world. Oh, 
what? She wanted my opinion on what to wear to her date tonight. Too much? Wait, Jamie likes it. Any guy would love it. Trust me. He sees you in that and he'll jump your bones. Uh, you know, maybe she's right. Make him work for it a little, you know? Ooh, I love that. Here, Jamie, you try it on. Uh... I'm the only person in the world that counts to you. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> so, do you want to fool around? I did it! I knew you could. I guess you think that was pretty stupid. I think it's kind of sweet. You do? No. <laughs> okay, maybe a little. What are you doing? Checking for monsters. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Never mind. Uh, that's not Jamie's color. No, no, P.U. I, I, I look like death <laughs> in that color. Uh, but, but you look good enough to eat in it. <laughs> Think so? Oh, my brother's home. I gotta go tell him something. Oh, tell him I say hi. Isn't her brother the cutest? Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. <laughs> Bottomless eyes. And he's huge. Oh, how come I have never met you before? Oh, I uh, just moved here from New York. I knew it. You know, everyone from New York just gets it. <laughs> You can't blame Vanessa, though. She's only been to second base. <laughs> hey, I have a fab idea. Let's have a summer party tomorrow night. You know, I am feeling different tonight. Ready for new experiences. Yeah? Yeah. Like what? Well, like that, for one. Are you sure you're ready? Why the hell not? You only live once. Valentine's Day treats. Mm. Uh -uh. What? <laughs> what is it with women and chocolate? Simple. Chocolate's more dependable than men. Not all men are alike. Can't get to the phone. You know the drill. Jimmy, it's Donnie. We need to talk. Are you there? Okay. I'll call you tomorrow. Who's Donnie? My boyfriend. If you have a boyfriend, then what are you doing here with me? If I had the key, I wouldn't be. And that'd be it. I I'd never see you again. Why are we even talking about this, right? I mean, it's not like we have a choice. We're trapped. We're having a slumber party tomorrow night. Excuse me? Girls only, and we're gonna stay up all night long and talk about sex. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You'll be coming to this girls' night? I'm free tomorrow night. I thought this visit was a one-time thing. I assumed you had to go back. Oh, so soon? Besides, you and I have never really spent the whole night together. Might be fun. Do you think? I guess we're having a sleepover tomorrow night. Fool around? In here? Are we even alone? Like you ever cared where we were, who was around? <laughs> you know, um, Dominique would never do this. Luna, there are a lot of things your sister wouldn't do. Yeah. But I would. Good night. Mm -hmm.
on the next Undress. Jamie's really... Lesbian! I've been dying to kiss a lesbian! What are you doing? Since you're going out with Joy, I guess I'll be going out with Jonathan. How come we're on your sister's bed? Joy? <laughs> Weirdest way you've ever done it. Jimmy? Damn it, it's Donnie. Who's this guy? If you like to get some peace in the evenings, check out Undressed.